Alrighty, um, hello, my name is Aiko. Welcome to this kind of tiny corner of the web. Um, at the time of recording, which is September 9, 2021, I have less than 48 hours until I move to Japan. So, um, in previous vlogs, I was uh, blogging work weeks in New York City and I was doing a summer gig, a human resources summer gig, which I'm very grateful for. Learned a lot about talent acquisition and legal recruiting. And now I'm getting ready to step into my next journey, which has been almost a year into the making and it feels very surreal to be at this point where I'm getting ready to leave. And um, I will be uh, incoming ALT for the JET program US and very, very grateful and excited uh, for this opportunity. So I decided to pick up my vlogging camera again and vlog the whole process. Although I feel like I'm already starting this kind of late because yeah, I'm like two days before departure. This is gonna be one of my last vlogs in this room, which feels very bittersweet. Particularly sitting in this little corner, I feel like I've spent so much of this quarantine and this past year and a half sitting at this desk, looking at this view of the Jersey Burbs and um, yeah, a lot of hopes, a lot of dreams, a lot of passions, um, a lot of tears were made here at this desk. So I pretty much have spent this week packing and trying to clean up this room as much as possible because this was my nephew's room before I moved in here and it will become my nephew's room again. So just trying to clean it and make it movable. Um, but yeah, these are my two luggages, um, my two check-in luggages. These are 87 liter Fuji suitcases. They're pretty much packed. This one right here is overweight by three pounds and after doing a lot of different tetrising, moving things around, getting rid of stuff, um, I kind of just accepted that I might have to pay an overweight fee um, and I'm okay with that. So instead of stressing, I have just prepared some extra cash. Like hold on. Okay, good job. Hello, it is a Friday, September 10th. Um, I didn't really vlog much today uh, because I was just trying to pack and clean up this room. And let me show y'all how empty it is now. Here it is. Feels very surreal. Probably gonna be my most used word in this vlog, but yeah really encapsulates how I feel because I feel like I spent so much time decorating in this room and now it's empty. <laughs>
there is a typhoon right now, so the rain is really coming down. There's something really magical about rainy Tokyo, though. It's been such a peaceful Saturday. Um, I've actually just been shopping for some apartment stuff. And this is my very first apartment. So, um, or like my first apartment where I'm going to be living solo. So I feel like there's a lot of autonomy over picking the furniture and... Um, just the different decor and the kitchen appliances and different pieces. So I'm just extremely grateful to be able to um, be able to do this. You're recording me? I am. <laughs> I have nothing in my head now. I hope that you will have more subscribers. <laughs> Oh my goodness, too sweet. It is actually my second Sunday here in Miyazaki, which is kind of crazy because that means tomorrow morning will mark two full weeks since I've been here. And um, yeah, first I just want to apologize because I think this vlog is truly all over the place and I'm not really going to try to do any kind of like aesthetic editing because the clips are just all very <laughs> random, but hopefully um, I can look back at this video to kind of remember um, the newness of everything. And also, um, this hopefully it can be somewhat entertaining. But um, what was I going to say? Today I slept in, which felt nice because every day has felt like it's been going at 2.5 speed, which has been wonderful learning so many new things, experiencing and visiting new shops and restaurants, or not new, but new for me, <laughs> um, different kind of shops and restaurants and things in the city. Um, but right now I have some time to chill, kind of get ready for the week. So I have a load of laundry in um, because tomorrow and the rest of the week it's gonna rain. So that's been kind of something new is really being mindful about my laundry days because weather plays a huge factor. Um, most homes in Japan um, don't have a dryer. Actually, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but more often than not, um, an average Japanese household will just have a washer unit. So um, you hang your clothes outside um, and line dry them or hang them on a 
rack and I actually really like it. I find it a very therapeutic activity to do. And I actually look forward to doing laundry because I love the smell of laundry. Um, but I just have to be very careful and mindful about what days I choose to do it, making sure, you know, I have ample time for it to dry, yada, yada, yada. So I just got my car two days ago and um, it's been really, really fun practicing driving, also a little bit terrifying um, just because everything is the opposite. Um, here in Japan in terms of like the wheel driving on the left side of the road and even the blinkers are on the right side so I find myself accidentally hitting the windshield wipers all the time but yeah I have a grocery run that I need to do and also what I hope to do later this is kind of more of an optional thing but if I have time or have kind of the energy, I think I want to stop by the local photo lab and develop these two roles that I have um, from my past few weeks here in Japan. Um, they are from quarantine, um, just my first photos here in the city, and there is a local photo contest. Um, and I thought, at first I wasn't going to submit um, an entry for it, but I thought, you know what, I'm in a new place and um, I've never really submitted things for an entry like this before. Actually, no, I have once um, in college, but I think post-college I haven't really challenged myself to kind of put my work out there and kind of um, share it with the community. So. I am going to attempt to develop photos. The deadline for the photos is the 27th. Today is the 10th. So I'm hoping that the lab that I go to will have a fairly fast turnaround time so that I have enough photos or have enough time for the photos to be scanned and um, time to select which photo that I'll submit for the contest. Anyways, it's been a lot of talking, a lot of chatting. So hope you enjoy the rest of this b-roll and um yeah happy sunday walking through a rice field right now and it's just so peaceful I really love Inaka life. This is incredible. There are the rice paddies over here. As you can see, some of them have been harvested already. These ones not yet been harvested. and my line of sight so I'm really excited okay I just finished developing or going to drop off two rolls to develop that was honestly they were really nice but that was a struggle because I realized even more how poor my Japanese is so it was took a little while to communicate, but really good experience, so.